you know, when the customer is deciding to buy something online, they don't have the product that you are trying to sell in their hand. What they have is image in front of them. So the product image is something which is going to make up the customer mind if they are going to buy this item or they are not going to buy this item. Luckily, you don't have to put a lot of efforts in order for you to create a professional image. All you need to do is just have a mobile phone. It's more than enough to take a professional pictures and couple of AI tricks, which I'm gonna show you in this video and your product images is going to be the professional looking one. So before any delay, let's get started. So first of all, when it comes to taking high quality product images, there are two things that you're gonna need. First of all is your mobile phone. I will say all the mobile phones have a really, really decent cameras nowadays, and you don't need to buy any professional digital camera in order for you to take high quality image. But what you do need is a lighting. You don't need to buy expensive lighting as well. All you need is to take the product picture outside in the natural daylight. You can use your garden, you can use whatever. You don't need to worry about the background. All you need to worry about that you have the light from all different angles as well. When I'm taking a product pictures for myself, I will take six minimum, minimum six pictures for me to edit those pictures later on. I will show you how I edit them as well. So four first four pictures are going to be all different angles of your product as well. And the fifth and sixth picture is going to be something which will show you the use case of that image. So if it's a charging cable, then you're gonna need to plug in your charging cable with the phone and showcase that you are charging your phone with that cable as well. And then the, the picture should also highlight how it differentiate from the other products as well. So we can do that in editing software, but, but it's really important at this step that you should take your picture in a good lighting. As I said, outside natural lighting is more than enough nowadays and your mobile phone will be something that you can use for it. Once you have taken five to six images of your product, the next step is just to simply edit them. Luckily, we don't need to have any kind of skills like editing skills nowadays. AI have made super easy for us as well. So the website which I use is called Pick Copilot, and this is a AI backed image software specially designed for e-commerce sellers. I'm gonna put the link for that inside the description, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create the images inside Pick Copilot. So the first step that you need to do is just simply sign in. You can sign in using Google as well. Just click on login with the Google and you can use your Google account to sign in inside the Pick Copilot. Once you are inside the website, sometime it will show the language as Chinese, but if you just simply click here, you can choose a different language. So if the website looks like this, just click on this drop down menu and click on English and then the website will look in English. Inside AI Copilot, Pick Copilot have many different tools that you can use. So the first one I wanna show you is a background remover. As I said, you don't need to worry about the background. So all you can do, click on right here and then click and upload the image. So I'm gonna use this image right here. And once the image is uploading, it will simply remove the background. The good thing about this one that you can remove the a background for up to 20 images at one time. You can upload all of your images that you have taken. Just simply click on remove and it will do its AI magic and just simply remove the background. So you don't need to worry about what kind of background your images have. If we return back, then we have another feature which called image translator. So let's say you are uh, using an image from a website which have a different language on it. You can translate that into a different like English, Portuguese, Chinese, whatever language you wanna use there. 
So let's say you got this image right here, which have English on it, and you want to change into a different language, you can just simply translate that one. There are different options. So for example, Spanish, Portuguese, English, Thai, Turkish, whatever you want to use. So original language, I will choose this is in English, and I want to translate that into French, just for the sake of this tutorial. But if you see an image that have a Chinese, you can translate that into English as well. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on translate and then AI will do their magic and it's going to translate that for me. So you can see exactly where the English was. It have changed everything inside French and this is all done by AI. I haven't touched anything. You can also edit that if you don't like, like, you know, you want to change something, you can just simply click on a text and you can change according to the way you want as well. So this is a really, really good feature to have inside. The next thing that you can do is to have different background. You can change into a different background as well. So you can click on just simply instant background, upload an image right here. So I'm going to upload, let's say this image right here, and I can put a different background. You don't even need to choose the background. It will figure out what background will be the best and it will suggest to you accordingly. So I uploaded that picture. I will go inside there and I can try different, different background right here. So let's say I want to put this one right here. It will show one. I can move it up upside down if, if I want to. I can move it up wherever I, I want to do that. And I can also change the, the size of the image as well. If I need to change the size according to, let's say I want to upload it on eBay, Amazon, wherever I want to. Uh, let's say I want to put it right here. I can put this image right here as well. And then it will show the image on that background as well. So this is really, really good. Within one click, you can just simply have a professional looking background, not it just will remove the background, it will also give you the background which is looks, looks really, really cool to be honest. So the next feature that we have inside the Pic Copilot where you can edit your picture is your AI model. So you can just simply click on your AI fashion models right here. You need to make sure that if you, this obviously work for dress, you know, shirts, all that kind of stuff as well. So you need to have an image like this on, on some sort of dummy where you can use that image and then that image will be transferred over to your AI model. So you upload that one right here and then your, you can select the model. So let's say if I upload this dress, it's gonna have to be like this. Obviously, if somebody is, you know, selling clothes on a regular basis, this is going to be one time investment for them to use this one. And then you can just simply select the model that you wanna use. You can select the model and then just simply click on create now, and then the AI will create the model for you. The next feature that we have inside the Pic Copilot is they have tons of templates that you can use. And this can be like, you know, from latest, they add a lot of templates every single day, uh, depending on, um, let's, you know, depending on events as well. So let's say I want to do one on Easter Sunday. Easter is just around the corner. And then they have a lot of them, which you can choose, which are looking like Easter. So all you have to do for them, these are completely customizable. You can change anything that you want inside these templates as well. So if I pick, le, let's say this one, the charging cable one, this one right here, I can upload an image. Let's say I upload this image right here, which is a, a perfume bottle, click on generate, and then it will be inside where I can add it. I can add text. I can do a lot of things. So AI gonna do its magic. It gonna, you know, generate everything for me and I can add it the way I want to. So this is the one it have selected, but I can also customize it. If I like a different template, I can choose a different one from here as well. And I can edit the tech, uh, text right here. So let's say I wanna do rather than 3.5, I wanna do, let's say, uh uh cool i want to type that you know i can change the the size of the text as well you see i can add more text if i want to i can have a different image on the background let's say i want to choose uh, this one right here 
I can add different different uh, uh, on on the on the back. So what I will do if I need to let's say use these images for eBay or Amazon or for my Shopify store, I'm gonna take six images out of this. So you can create your first four images. You can just simply swap the background. So let's say uh, this is my image, and uh, you know obviously we're gonna use different four images and I'm going to use a different background for each and every one. So I will, let's say for this one, I would like to have uh, this background. It's just example. Obviously, you're going to have to find which one is going to be suitable for you. So I'm going to click on create now and then this one with AI, it's going to do the magic. It's going to fit each and everything. This is going to have uh, the background that I want at the end. So I will have four different, you can see this one it's it looks i mean this is amazing it looks really really cool and there are tons of different one right here as well you can try so i'm gonna use these four uh, images which will showcase the product as well for the next two what i will do i will select a template and from the template let's say i will select this template right here upload uh, let's say this image Im image right here click on generate and then my fifth and sixth picture will showcase the the features of that product so this perfume right here i'm gonna probably you can put something like a long lasting you can you know always be creative with it and do different stuff with it as well so this one not just for your ebay and amazon images like for any e-commerce website you can use this one for your social media promotion as well. And there are tons of different templates. So I've been using the free version to do whatever I've been doing, but this is not an expensive one. You can stick with the free one. There are tons of different features inside as well, but you can always upgrade if you need to. So inside the free one, you get 50 coins, but a lot of different marketing uh, free templates right here. And if you need to upgrade to the standard one, it only costs $3.99, about $4 a month. To be honest with you, what it can do, this is nothing. So I'm going to put the link for that inside the description. Make sure you check that out. And uh, I, this is revolutionary, to be honest.